Scorpios, this is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Hmm. Let's see what else. You deserve love. You are lovable. Maybe some of you guys have had, um, you know, had a tough upbringing, and um, and it's kind of like you know spilling over into adulthood, and that's a lot of us actually, you know, how how our parents interacted with each other, or you know how they even um, you know dealt with us could possibly influence the way that we handle our adult relationships, you know. Um, maybe there are some insecurities resulting from, you know, the way you were brought up or this other individual that you guys are possibly thinking about here, but definitely you guys deserve love here. Hmm. Brand new start. Initiating something here. Something that I feel like you guys are passionate about. Starting over. Healing yourself. Maybe healing someone else as well along the way. The two of wands. Waiting on what it is that you deserve. I feel like, I think you guys have chosen that, chosen the path of rediscovery is what I'm getting here. Okay. Starting over. Looking for what it is that you deserve. Very passionate about it. Maybe some of you guys are wanting to start over with a fire sign Aries Leo individual here where you guys have a lot of fire in your chart um, this is a lot of activity going on a lot of passionate energy I feel like is um, <laughs> is steered towards someone here uh, and then we have the page of Pentacles hmm and a lot of you guys I feel like are learning about not learning about love, but I think there's something that has been awakened in you with this individual fire sign, I feel. Um, maybe you guys realize that, you know, you know what I'm getting strongly for you guys is that some of you are already with this person. And I put the cards down because it's just hitting me very strongly, this message. Some of you um, were with this person. Okay, and I felt like a lot of you guys maybe had the self-sabotaging energy and I, I'm feeling like you separated from this person and I'm feeling like you really cared for this person. You really were attracted to this person um, when you were with them and you guys separated and you separated because of some of your actions maybe you guys did not put in the time that was needed to really kind of develop this connection to grow this connection you weren't all in is what i'm getting here you knew exactly who this person was but i think it kind of scared you a little bit and um I, i'm feeling like you guys really are wanting to to excuse me, apologize for something, make something right here is what I'm feeling with an individual that you share a strong connection with. I feel like maybe at one point, <clears throat> maybe at one point, um, you guys separated from this person and you felt like, you know, I'm just feeling that even when you separated from this person, that it wasn't something that you necessarily wanted to do. I don't feel like you necessarily wanted to do that. Hmm. Seven of Swords there. I feel like you guys definitely went out and and possibly, like I said, self self sabotaged the situation. You sabotaged it by leaving this person, lying to this person. Um, 
cheating on this person. I mean, whatever it means for you. Maybe you weren't all in. Maybe you weren't affectionate with this person. There, there. I mean, I'm feeling there are lots of lots of things that came into play in this situation. Maybe you guys left for somebody else that you thought you felt a, a different kind of spark for or even a spark for in general, even though you had a spark for this individual. I'm feeling like you guys, you know, left this person. That was a path that you chose. Okay. And maybe there was something that you guys needed to heal within yourself. Now, let me say this because this energy can go vice versa. I'm just reading the energy and this is Scorpio's reading. So I'm talking to you guys as if it were you. But it could very well be the individual that you guys are thinking about as well that has done this to you, that has deceived you, that chose a different path other than you guys. But now I feel wants to make an apology, sabotage the situation, however this goes, okay? Strong Aries is here. I'm getting that you guys almost feel like you, you were foolish before. That, that you did the wrong thing or they did the wrong thing. Whoever was the one that felt like the grass is green on the other side, sabotaged this relationship, went out and searched for something else, whoever that is, whether it's you or someone else. They're feeling like a fool now. Okay. Feeling like a fool now. Wanting to take a leap of faith here again. Definitely. Wanting to take a leap of faith here again. Wants to come back. Somebody wants to come back here. Hmm. Aquarius, Aries, um, and any other earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Wants to make an apology. Wants to wants to, you know, be there and be committed um, to a situation. Now I feel where they weren't before. Wants to be all in. Wants to be emotional. Wants to offer emotions. Wanting to be there for the individual. Hmm. Yeah, somebody wants to make an apology. They know they hurt you. They know they hurt you, okay? But you are picking yourself up. Somebody definitely wants to make an apology here. Leo's here. But this person feels like you guys are not gonna re not going to want to reunite. Not going to want to reconnect. Feels like you guys are done with them. You feel like it's over as well, is what I'm getting from you. Hmm. Not doing anything else. Not putting in not putting in any more time in this situation, I feel. But feeling very sorrowful nonetheless that you know it had to end is what I'm getting here. There is a strong fire energy here, okay? Strong fire energy. Somebody here is also picking themselves up, picking up the pieces, moving forward, facing whatever um, fears they have had. Not, you know, not allowing themselves to remain stuck and feeling down and out someone here, okay? Starting over, starting over here, initiating new things in their life, not lending any more energy to this situation, okay? And then the other person um, that stepped out, they want to come back. That's just the bottom line here, okay? So only you guys know your own situations, but definitely somebody lied, cheated, deceived, you know, what have you, any or all of the above. But whoever that person is definitely wants to come back. Whereas they stepped out before and thought the grass was green on the other side. They now want to come back to, 
you know, the situation that they had before that they sabotaged. They want to make an apology. But the other person really at this point is like, you know what, I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm not going to stay in my feelings. I'm not going to be down in the dumps. I'm letting this shit go. And I'm reinventing myself, basically, is the synopsis, okay? So we have love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. And that's it. You deserve love, for sure, okay? So I'm feeling like, you know, there's definitely when people start self-sabotaging and sabotaging relationships and stuff like that for no apparent reason to the other person, there's some underlying issues there. There's some underlying issues that need to be resolved. Okay. But people have to be committed to resolving their own issues. We cannot do that for them. But the one thing that we can do is not let other people, um, you know, determine whether or not we're going to be happy. We have to make ourselves happy and know exactly what it is that we deserve, guys. All right. So with that being said, your girl is out.